Howdy folks, Dave Shea was a, was a tag video, <laughs> that's right, for a budget shave, which for me is just, uh, how can you say, it's just right up my alley. It's one of those things uh, I like to do from time to time, and Tim uh, tagged me on this one video, and um, so my video is going to be just a tad bit different than, uh, uh, than what somebody might expect, because a lot of my gear I found either on sale or very much on the cheap, and and that sort of thing but anyway I'll go ahead and get started uh, the uh, shaving cream today which was just really kind of interesting because I yesterday I just got through watching uh, uh, Chris's video and uh, talking about uh, uh, macaroon and I'd already had uh, work started working towards this one here this shave here and what it is is I had found this at Marshall's for $7.99 so in other words, I found Macaroot 6.3 ounces or uh, what was it? Uh, 6.3 ounces or if you measure by, uh, I think, milliliters. It's on the box here, I think, is where it's at. Uh, yeah, 200 milliliters or 180 grams. Uh, that's a lot of shaving cream. And I'm with Chris. The scent on this is, uh, I get a floral scent coming off of it this is a very soft cream it's kind of a almost yellowish type color uh, it's very soft and uh, I just scoop it out big uh, I say big I just use a baby spoon scoop it out put it in the uh, bowl here and this particular kit not only came with the uh, shaving cream but also came with the brush so for eight bucks I got over six ounces of shaving cream and uh, the knot is synthetic and the handle is wood and that's about as much as information as I got on it. But the bowl, the shaving bowl is my favorite shaving bowl. Found this at a thrift store for what, 99 cents a dollar, inexpensive. I do like how it's made because it really makes it easy to hang on. That's what it looks like there on the inside. It's just a smooth bottom bowl, but have no problems whipping up a pretty nice lather. So be my first time using Macaroon. It's been on one of the, I guess you might say, to get list. I think the normal everyday price for Macaroon is, I think, right around the $16. And I'll have a link down below for it. Uh, but uh, found this in Mar at Marshall's and was quite happy to pick it up uh, uh, for this price. Just an awesome buy. And uh, as it goes for aftershave. You can pick up a, a six pack. I got. A, I'll put a link down below. A six pack of this uh, aftershave for twenty bucks. So inexpensive. Uh, back when I first started uh, finding this, I found it in Dollar General, which now is really tough to do. I don't think they actually carry it anymore. Uh, at least not around where I'm at. Uh, I picked this up for just under two dollars. I think it was a dollar ninety five. It was pretty inexpensive, and. Uh, the blue and the Pacific Rush, I don't think they make anymore, but this one here is still easy to, if you look, you can still find it. Um, like I say, six pack for 20 bucks. So that drives that price down, you know, down where it's very affordable. Uh, six pack <laughs> of aftershave. Uh, other items that I'd be using in my shave. <clears throat> for instance, um, I think, yeah, right over here almost forgot uh it's out of stock right now at the uh, modern man oops i just dropped the uh ca <laughs> the cardboard part um derby blades uh at modern man when it was in stock you can get a 200 uh, pack of derby blades uh for 10 bucks that uh, works out to about a nickel a blade pretty darn inexpensive and not this past uh, uh black friday sale but the previous one in other words just over a year ago i picked this up this is a like a ballet 177 model but anyhow this is rose gold and i think i picked this up if i think it was like two and a quarter it might have been 250. in other words very inexpensive and i got a derby blade in it this morning and i think the going price for this right now at maggots is 545 and believe it or not the chrome version is a dollar more <laughs> usually these sort of things it's the other way around with the rose gold but going to be using this shaver today which which is a pretty good shaver can't complain a bit about it i enjoy shaving with it um now a little bit more off the uh beaten path just a little bit 
um, you can go pretty cheap. In other words, if you're using a shave, a bowl from the kitchen like uh, Paul H. did in his infamous red bowl, well, you can pick up salsa bowls. In other words, uh, this one here in particular, I picked this one up for 50 cents. It was on clearance at Walmart. And you can find, uh, at one point when I bought a three-pack of them for like four seventy-five with different colors. Uh, in other words, your bowl could be just whatever you use. Like I say, Paul H. just used one from the kitchen. <laughs> so, for me, I found this one at a thrift store and it's been one of my favorite bowls ever since. And I also have a, uh, you've probably seen in one of my other videos, uh, the really old restaurant style uh uh, bowls that's got a little bit of a base to it that's easy to hold on to and on the bottom it says hotel but anyhow you can find some inexpensive shaving bowls it doesn't have to necessarily be like one of my wooden bowls that was you know quite a bit more expensive also at the um, uh, superior shave um, boy I have to say uh, he's got a closeout clearance sale going on and found one of these. I think this was either it's either 79 cents or 99 cents. I'll have a link down below, especially if they're still in stock. And believe it or not, this one here fits perfect for uh, the brush that I'm using today from uh, the body shop. Uh, another find from uh, one of the area stores, and this one here is Ross. Uh, this is the Art of Shaving. Uh, this is a pre-shave oil, and there's the price there, $2.99. Uh, you can find some inexpensive good stuff, inexpensive stuff, you know, in some of the local uh, stores. You know, if you're diligent and persistent like me, every time my wife decides she wants to go there, I gravitate over to the men's section, see what kind of treasures I can find. Uh, another one in Marshall's, um, I got, uh, the one I'm going to be using today was this flavor here. It's what I found for two bucks in, in Marshall's. And the other one that I found that was on the bottom shelf hiding way up underneath there was this one here and it was missing its cap, but it's got a safety seal underneath it. Reason why they were clearing these out, it was because, you know, uh, Humphreys is changing the, the container, in other words, different marketing scheme. And uh, I got each one of these were two bucks a piece and we'll be using this one today. Uh, just, just that, I guess you might say a sample of in other words, if you're persistent, you're looking around, you can find some awesome buys. And if you want to step up your game just a little bit, I think they're still in the stock. Uh, now, this particular uh, shaver uh, runs for a whole lot more than what I got it for. It's on sale. Hopefully, it's still in stock by the time this video goes out at the Superior Shave. This one here is selling for $19.99. In other words, 20 bucks. And this is a really nice looking shaver. But like I said, this typically goes for a whole lot more. I think it's closer. Can't remember if it's the $50 mark or the $100 mark. Because there was more than one. And I've got the other one. And I think I paid I paid less than 20 bucks than, I, than this one here. And the reason why I think you end up paying more is because of what this handle is made out of. But you can find some great shaving gear on sale. If you kind of go along with the mantra from the... Teenage Ninja, Ninja Mutant Ninja Tin <laughs> Turtles, <laughs> if you go along with those folks there. Uh, in other words, never pay a full price for late pizza. And uh, so if you never pay full price for your shave gear, you can get a good shave gear, you know, at a much lower price. And like I say, this shaver here for two and a quarter, two fifty, even at five and a half is a, is a pretty good buy. It's a, it's, it's a pretty decent shaver. Can't complain a bit about it. I, uh, it, I've shaved with it a few times. I can't find anything wrong with the shave that I get with it. This pre-shave soap is from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. This one here is the Christmas scented one. And this one here will run you about, I think it's $6.75. It might be $6.95, somewhere in there. But it seems to last forever. I've been using this for a while now. And you can kind of tell it's still a pretty good size cube and it starts out if i remember right at eight ounces um yeah shave gear budget yeah it's right up my alley i enjoy doing them so if you're interested in doing one of these videos go ahead and uh work up your favorite uh budget shave gear because there's some good stuff out there that can be found at a much lower price than retail. Like I say, that, that Mula, uh, like I, I want to say it was uh, the full, the 
retail price was like near, I want to say a hundred dollars. And the other one I think that I got was retailing around 50, if I remember right. And I uh, got it a lot cheaper. It's the only reason why I picked it up is because it was such a great buy. Uh, this one here at two and a quarter or 250, I had to, I already had one from, uh, uh, Razor Rock that looked very similar to this one here is the chrome version but for two and a quarter or whatever I had to get that one there because it, it's a good looking shaver that uh, rose gold really pops with color uh, like I say I can't really complain a whole lot about the shave gear I'm using today it's great stuff here all right this will be the first time go with the uh, macaroot and this brush it didn't have any problem whipping up the lather for me, it was more of trying to gauge how much water should I be putting in here. And I know I went with way too much water. So I would uh, work with a damp brush and slowly add any water if you need to. That's what I would do with this uh, particular shaving cream. The floral scent, I, I, ha I the more I try to, uh, in other words, try to pick up what floral scent I'm, I'm smelling it's uh it's not violet it's not lavender it's nothing like that that i am familiar with it maybe has a slight roast uh smell to it maybe the you do you'll definitely pick up that it's a floral scent but uh, my nose is not good enough to pick out what floral scent am i smelling I don't think it's daisies. Daisies smell better than this. I say better. If you ever uh, go through uh, some of uh, Daniel Lay's uh, shaving soap, the um, a while back I got a sample of uh, a soap from Daniel Lay that was daisy, and was really surprised on how well. I mean. It smelled really good. I was really surprised. Yes, you might say a floral sense. You know, the word something a little bit more off the beaten path, beaten path, than what a person typically would run across. I thought, thought that was a, a pretty good scent. I really like it. I still haven't bought a full puck of it just yet. I got so much soap, but I do keep it in back of my mind if I ever decide to get another one that's a floral scent. Derby blades working quite well. Um, for the most part Derby works well in most of my shavers but not necessarily all of them. I don't recall exactly which one it was but I did have one shaver and that derby didn't work out so well. Wasn't very smooth. This uh, this shaving cream is pretty slick. It's uh, in other words, uh, definitely will be good for a uh, straight razor shave or a uh, shave vet shave because of the amount of slickness that it provides, and probably because also. Uh, added too much water to it I was treating it like the shaving cream I'm normally used to didn't realize that this one here didn't need quite as much water I have to say though the shave is going pretty darn good It's a lot of fun doing these. I enjoy doing them. In case you missed one of my other videos, art of shaving at Ross or Marshalls. It just depends on what store you have local that's easy to get to. Here of late, their shaving cream's been showing up. Sometimes the shaving cream will be at the $10 mark or like uh, the 
food that I found for six forty nine, six fifty. In other words, you can find some great shape here. At a much reduced price. In Tim's video, he uh, was using uh, Williams Mug Soap. Here locally, uh, Williams Mug Soap can be found in a grocery store for a buck twenty nine. And the uh, Burma Shave Brush you can find for like four twenty nine, four thirty nine, somewhere in there. It's relatively inexpensive. It's a bore brush. Uh, just an inexpensive shave gear. And if you're like me, you drink coffee, Williams Mug Soap does a pretty good job fitting right down into a coffee mug. So you can just lie that right inside the, a coffee mug. So in other words, your, your price, in other words, you can still go pretty darn inexpensive. He also used a uh, Gillette Track 2. I used to have a Track 2 back in the day. Uh, I no longer have the handle. I think I end up losing that handle back in the 80s, close to being the 90s. It was late 80s. I think when I finally lost that handle, I say I lost it. In other words, I threw it out. It was one of those deals like, you know, you find the, the cost at that point in time. I was finding other shavers that would be cheaper. And of course they were disposable, so that shaver handle fell to the wayside, I guess you might say. Shave's going great. For me, this lather is uh like I say I had just a, it's just a little bit more water than what I intended to add or wanted, but it's working out quite well. Derby blades, like I say, you know, for me they're they're usually hit in most shavers. But like anything else, you know, your mileage may vary. This particular blade may not work well for you. For me, I have these creases that are uh, right through here on my neck. So I try to approach them at a slight angle. Usually if I go at a slight angle, I'll do pretty good. Won't get it caught, blade caught on there end up with a cut the uh, matter of fact Ross still has uh, some art of shaving gear they still have a tub of uh, <laughs> yeah I did resist for <laughs> for 649 another tub of uh, peppermint and I've already got two decided I didn't really need another one. In other words, I of stuff that I really do like or that is inexpensive like this, what I've been finding, you uh, I buy one and then I have one in reserve because there's so I have so much soap that it's gonna it's gonna be around for a moment. But if I ever have a hard time finding a replacement, at least I've got the replacement already. Especially at six fifty, that's pretty inexpensive. So like you can have, um, just depending on what you're finding locally, you can find some great shave gear. Oh, speaking of that, it just now kind of uh, entered my mind. Uh, matter of fact, I think I'll put a link, I'll try to remember to put a link down below. Uh, Pastors has uh, been having a sale on their uh, shaving soap and whatnot. And some of it you can find for three or five dollars. Uh, it's it just, you know, if you look, you can find some great stuff. Alan Block, you've heard me probably talk about it from time to time. Another exp inexpensive item that lasts a good long while. This one here is the Crown King Phoenix Artist and Accoutrements. It comes with a rubber band. Uh, I think it's like $4.50. Uh, inexpensive. In other words, you don't have to pay a whole lot of money for shave gear to get a great shave. Depends on how big your budget is. That's just a little bit of sting right there. Still got some shave cream down here too. Just a really nice shave. I, in other words, if I wanted to, I could use that as a daily shaver. It's a, 
it gives me great shaves. It does just fine for me. Oh, <laughs> and if you're needing a little bit of repair, in case your shave went a little bit rough or whatever, um, uh, there's more than one way you can go. You can go with the Nivea Men's uh, Aftershave Balm, which runs right around the $5 mark. Uh, if you're wanting to forego the aftershave or uh, this one here, I think was, I can't remember off the top of my head. I got it on sale. So it was, it was well under $5. It's a pretty good size container here. And I've been able to find the travel size uh, Nivea for men uh, cream for, I think it was a dollar if I remember right. It might have been 75 cents, but I think it was a dollar. In other words, inexpensive. There's, I say, <laughs> there's many different routes you could go. I have not used, I've used Humphrey's Witch Hazel before, but uh, don't remember using the cucumber. I'll show you what that uh, restrictor looks like. Is cucumber supposed to be cooling? Definitely pick up the cucumber. I would say the cooling effect is nothing over the top. In other words, nothing heavily methylated because there's not any menthol in it, but it's just a very slight cooling effect. Oh, and if you haven't seen one before, that's what the restrictor looks like. You can probably make do with uh, with that if you wanted to. The, this, uh, this particular, especially these bottles, I should say, because... Uh, the new ones, I'm not sure exactly what kind of scents they're coming out with. Uh, this one here is cucumber. There's one, this one here, you can still find it. This one here is citrus. Uh, I think I've seen one in, it's either lavender or violet. And um, that's the only ones I can recall off the top of my head. Uh, like I said, this one here is still available. <laughs> Six of them for 20 bucks is pretty inexpensive. Restrictor is pretty good size. It's not small. So uh, if you're kind of concerned about how much is coming out at one time, you'll have to play, pay close attention to it. Also, should mention, if it matters to anybody, uh, these labels, uh, this, these labels here are not uh, waterproof. Uh, in other words, if you leave this in the bathroom out in the open air, uh, a lot of humidity, eventually this is going to crinkle up and wrinkle up on you. At least the one I had sure did. Uh, also, I should mention this is 5 ounces also. Not 3.4, so in other words, your 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 value is right out up there. And yes, nice menthol cooling effect. Works well for my wife also because she likes, you know, the menthol, the eucalyptus, you know, those kind of scents. So, it works well for my wife too. Another great point to bring out too had a great shave I, I get really excited I could I can go on and on and on with the budget shave gear hope everybody's had a good time watching this one here <laughs> it maybe sparked a, <laughs> a little bit of desire to go find some budget gear <laughs> hope everybody's doing well stay safe stay healthy smooth shades to you